Hi, everybody. It's a pleasure to be here today. My name is Anshul, and I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about the importance of trust in a managed marketplace. Um, so I can skip over most of my background, because Jason did a good job introducing it, but started my career in finance, and then I began my marketplace immersion, which was involved, which was part of my time spent involved building a few marketplace businesses, managed by Q, Poncho, Merlin, uh, and then working with Fabrice and the team investing in marketplace startups. And today I'm working with an amazing team, some of whom are here with me today, building properly, which is a managed marketplace. And I'll share a bit more context as to what that means in a moment. So what is a managed marketplace? Well, let's take it back to the origin of the online marketplace, where you had sites that look a little bit like this, where buyers and sellers were connected via an online platform. Then you moved into the verticalization of these horizontal marketplaces where you took what was once a pretty simple transaction between two people peer to peer and you curated it and you added value added services so that the experience was enhanced for both the buyer and the seller. And so that's where most of the companies you interact with today, the Airbnbs, the Ubers of the world, they fall into that category. We're now entering an era where you have companies that fully manage or intermediate the transaction. So instead of connecting a seller and a buyer, they buy from the seller and they sell to the buyer creating a lot more value and, and a more seamless experience on both sides. So to recap very quickly, peer-to-peer, -peer, more curation, and then over time, full intermediation by the platform. So to give you a quick example, and this is where I'll tell you a bit about what Properly does, and the real estate space, historically you'd have sellers on the one hand, buyers on the other, connected via an online marketplace, the MLS, Kijiji, et cetera. And for the seller, the process is relatively painful, a lot of work, a lot of repairs, cleaning, uncertainty, staging, endless showings, and for the buyer, the same sort of thing. In a managed marketplace, the marketplace can actually fully intermediate the transaction. They can buy from the seller, sell to the buyer, and do all the work in between. And so for the seller, instant offer, no stress of repairs, no uncertainty, and for the buyer, certified warranty to inspect at homes on their own schedule. The challenge with a managed marketplace versus a traditional marketplace is that you go from having to build trust in the end provider, in the, the counterparty in the transaction, to having to build trust in the actual platform itself. The platform is now the counterparty, and you need to convince people that you are a trustworthy uh, counterparty and person to interact with. And that's been by far the biggest challenge that we've faced so far properly, is building credibility, building trust in the platform and what we have to offer. Um, sharing a very quick story, the first time we made an offer to a homeowner, we were very excited. Uh, we did a bunch of work, we did a bunch of analysis, we determined what the fair market value of the home was, and we called up this lady and said, we're so excited to give you an offer in your home for $500,000. Her home was listed at $600,000, which wasn't the actual market value of the home, but she very quickly said, are you, are you serious? And we said, yes, we're, we're delighted to give you an offer, and she immediately hung up on us, uh, which is unsurprising because we were operating from a deficit of trust. She had no reason to trust us. And we very quickly realized that we needed to embed within an organization a culture of transparency so that we could actually build trust amongst our customers in the service that we're offering. And so I'm going to share a few of the things that we've tried over the last year or so since launching uh, that have started to, to show some benefits to us in building trust in us as a platform. And hopefully they can be helpful to you as well as you build your companies. So the first thing that we've tried to do is really embed within the culture and the DNA of our company uh, a culture of transparency, where every customer interaction, every product that we release is designed with the intention of creating more transparency between us and the customer. And what that results in is us being able to just demonstrate things like our fees, our business model of pricing in a way that shares more context with what we do and why we do it so that the customer is armed with enough information to know whether or not they can and should trust us. The next one we've taken advantage of is, is the power of social proof, which uh, originally started by just providing a good service to some people who are brave enough to test us out, and then getting them to post online reviews and filming testimonials of them, which we could then share online and show people like them that others like them are actually willing to engage in a service like ours. Um, and then as you provide that amazing service to those people, you can begin to generate referrals. Now, ideally, people are screaming from the rooftops about how amazing you and your service are, uh, but realistically, you're going to need to help them and push them along the way. And so incentivizing referrals in the early stages of building out a marketplace can be a great way of building that flywheel uh, or kicking it off and building trust in the business. And implementing an effective media relations strategy from day one, or at least understanding what it would take to become newsworthy so you can insert yourself in that conversation is also an exercise worth going through. So you can benefit from third-party validation of what you're offering. And then finally, and, and probably most importantly, um, you need to... Talk to your customers. Uh, you need to actually address their concerns. And so we've tried to, from every possible perspective, text, call, email, 
interact with our customers and understand exactly what it is that they care about. Why are they skeptical about our service? What are the reasons that they have for turning us down or for checking us out and not moving forward? And through those conversations, we can really understand what matters to them and then align our business, our product, and our incentives with theirs that they start from a position of trust as compared to us having to build our way out of that deficit. And so as an example, many people expect from a business like ours that we're gonna buy their home at a low price and sell for a high price. And so now we, we implemented a policy called the price match guarantee in which if we sell the price for more than, the, if we sell the home for more than the price we paid, we'll fund back the majority of that difference to the seller. It's a way to align our incentives with theirs so that they have a reason to believe that we are acting in accordance with their best interest. Um, and so a couple of the things that we've, we've tried thus far, um, it's still very much early days. It's a work in progress. Uh, we're excited by the, the progress we've seen as a result of implementing some of this work, but uh, we still have a long way to go. And so I'm excited to chat with some of you afterwards and get a sense for what's worked with you as well. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for your time.